At uh, approximately 9.45 this morning, uh, the 911 center received calls reporting a possible structure fire here at 111 South Orchard. The building is a vacant, unoccupied, condemned building. Uh, the call reported uh, smoke from the chimney area and smoke from the back of the building. First arriving un units found a working structure fire. Uh, it is abandoned, it is unoccupied. Uh, we're now chasing fire in the wall, petitions, uh, ceiling areas. Uh, it had a pretty good jump on us, and uh, right now there have been no injuries. Um, no, nobody hurt civilian or firefighters. Uh, we have all firefighters um, from the on-duty shift here. We've recalled personnel, and we have Fort Drum here as well. You know, Chief, people in the neighborhood just watching this tend to think that this was an intentionally set fire. Is there anything you can tell us uh, from don't, the get-go here? Don't know that. As with all of our fires, we'll be doing an investigation to determine the cause. Once we know that, we'll let you all know. Is there any way to determine what kind of room it was? You said it happened up in the back. Any, any idea what kind I, of room it was? I, I don't know exactly where it happened. When I got here, um, there was quite a bit of smoke and fire from uh, multiple stories. Was a homeless man uh, seen exiting the building? I, I don't know that. Um, I can't confirm that at all. Don't know. Other questions? That's about it. It's a, uh, it's a relatively cool day, but with all the gear on, you know, the guys get warm. And uh, we got uh, Guilfoyle Ambulance assisting with rehabbing people, um, getting them fluids, and keeping them cool. And that the fire might spread to a nearby building? Well, obviously we have, you know, buildings in the nearby vicinity. Uh, I believe uh, Homestar Deli and Rite Aid have been evacuated because of the smoke conditions from this fire blowing in that direction. Any idea when they're going to be uh, able to get back into those? Well, once we get the smoke cut down, we'll open them back up. We just, what we didn't want to do is have additional alarms because smoke filled the building and we didn't want to have people exposed to the smoke that didn't need to be.